All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to clone an existing Xcode project from GitHub. Now, firstly, what is GitHub? Well, it's a really, really popular service that developers use to upload their code to be able to share their code with other developers and also manage their programming projects. If you head over to github.com, you can find out a bit more about what it does. And the reason we're using it is because you now know how to create image assets, drag and drop them into your assets folder. We want to spend more time learning and less time doing rote tasks. So we've done all of those things for you already. We've created the image assets. We've added it into a skeleton Xcode project. Now for you to be able to get access to it, we're going to share it with you using GitHub. And GitHub is one of mine and probably loads of other developers favorite tools. And it was recently acquired by Microsoft for over $7 billion. That just goes to show just how important it is to the development community. So how do we get access to the skeleton project? Well, as always, it's going to be a trip to the iOS course resources, which hopefully you've already got bookmarked. And if you head over to the Dicey module, and then go ahead and click on the Dicey starting project, then it will take you to a page on GitHub, which hosts the starting file. So this is what it looks like. And you can read a little bit about our goal, what we'll create, what you'll learn. But the most important part is the code that's in here. And the code is spread out over a number of folders. And these are the folders that you've already seen in your previous Xcode projects. But we don't want to share a single file by file. We don't want to use things like Dropbox to share these things because code changes constantly. And this is one of the most efficient tools of managing that complexity. So how do we clone an existing project? So we've got this iOS 13 at Dicey starting project. I want you to go ahead and click on this clone or download button. And then you can click on this button, which copies the link to this project. Now note that this link is not the same as this. This refers to the actual project, whereas this is the page where the project is hosted on. So if we go ahead and copy that, then we can go back into Xcode. If you have any projects that are currently open in Xcode, I recommend you to go ahead and close them all down by clicking on this button. Don't worry, everything in Xcode is automatically saved every few seconds. So you don't even have to hit save for that to happen. It's very, very rare that you end up losing work in Xcode. Once that's closed, then I want you to head over to source control and click on clone. Alternatively, if you've just opened up Xcode and you see the welcome screen, then you can also click on this clone an existing project link as well. So both of these buttons do exactly the same thing. They take you to a place which allows you to paste that URL that you copied over just now into the search bar. Now, don't worry if you don't see anything in here in this window. This is because I have a GitHub account and it's logged in and tracking all the things that I've viewed and used. But you don't even need to sign up to GitHub or have a GitHub account to be able to clone these projects. You simply need to paste that link you got from over here and then click clone. And it will take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on your network connection for it to be able to download that project file. Now it's going to ask you to choose where you want to save it. And I'm going to put it inside my development folder inside desktop, just as I've done previously. And I'm going to save it as the same name as the original file, which is Dicey iOS 13. But feel free to modify this as you wish. You can delete the iOS 13 or change its name if you want. Just know where you've saved it and what you've called it so you can find it later on. So now click clone. And once it's done cloning, you should see the Dicey starting project. This is the readme that you saw previously on GitHub. And in the project navigator, you can see all of our familiar files. If you take a look inside main storyboard, you'll be pleased to discover that there's absolutely nothing that we've done here for you. I think it's still a good idea at this stage to practice creating more of the user interface. Um, but if you have a look inside the assets folder, you can see we've already created all of the app icons and all of the various image files. So you don't have to download anything or drop it in either. 
if you take a look inside the launch screen, we've already created a launch screen. So if you run the app as it is, you'll see the launch screen briefly flash up for a moment. Remember, this is a place where you normally have your company logo or your game development studio name, whatever it may be, or your own name, in fact, or maybe an inspirational quote. But it simply shows up for a few seconds. And there it is, you saw it for a flash, and now it's launched the main dot storyboard, which is of course a blank screen. Now you are ready to get started and work on this skeleton project without having to download image files, drag and drop them in, and we can spend more time learning about the meat of iOS development. For the final part of this lesson, let me show you the true power of being able to clone projects from GitHub because you'll be using it for more than just cloning the skeleton projects and checking out the completed code. There are loads of other cool open source projects that you can clone and run. So for example, if you search for open source iOS apps in GitHub, you'll find lists such as this one where, for example, you can find the uh, Firefox iOS app, which is built in Swift. So this is the actual Firefox app, and it's obviously very, very complicated for where we are right now, but there's also some other cool projects too. And as you develop your skills in Swift, you'll be able to use these projects to inspire you and to be able to see how other people code. Now, one of my favorite projects is the Flappy Bird that's implemented in Swift. Here's a challenge for you. I want you to clone this Flappy Swift project to your local Xcode and to run the app to be able to play Flappy Bird in the simulator or on an iOS device. So you should already know how to do all of this. So go ahead, complete the challenge and have some fun. So that's gonna be super simple. We're gonna copy the link and then we're gonna go into Xcode and we're gonna clone this project right here and I'm gonna hit clone, and then I'm gonna simply save it in my downloads because I'm not gonna keep it around for very long. And once it's done, I'm simply gonna run it in my simulator, and I recommend to only run it on the simulator because if you want to run it on a physical device, then you'll have to go into sign-in capabilities, choose your team, and also change the bundle identifier to something completely unique so that it doesn't correspond to anybody else's version of this app. But again, this code came from the internet, so I recommend to only run it on the simulator instead of an actual device. So now I've got Flappy Bird running and you can play a version of Flappy Bird. Now I'm really bad at Flappy Bird. So this is gonna be a really short demo of my gameplay. But if you wanna explore more open source iOS apps, there's a really good collection on GitHub by this guy, DK Ham Singh. Not sure how that's pronounced, but if you scroll down, you can see there's loads and loads of different things that they've collected for different platforms, say Apple TV or Apple Watch projects. And this is a really fun place to browse through, clone, and as we get more skilled with iOS, we'll be able to understand more of the code that's in these sample projects and be able to learn from them as well. That's all for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to continue building out our Dicey app and we're going to be designing the user interface. So for all of that and more, I'll see you there.